Hey everybody, this is Gary Fong, and the following is an excerpt from my newest course, Unleash the Power of Your Sony Alpha. Our full course offers nearly five hours of video instruction with topics instantly accessible with our new sidebar navigation tool. No more endless scrolling. And you'll love this. You'll get a PDF of all of the menu items listed by tab, page, and line number, and then cross-reference for fast locating in alphabetical order. Visit us at SonyAlphaCourses.com. Okay, now let's go to your tip. Auto slow shutter, so your choices are on or off. And what auto slow shutter does is it's going to give you a different look. What it'll look like is the people walking will be a blur. And that's kind of neat if you want to have a character that's a ghost, or you want to have a train station that shows all the people kind of going around and, you know, in a blur. Um, or a dream sequence, uh, things like that. You can use slow shutter to give the, their a blur as the subject is moving around. Now remember, when you do slow shutter, your subject will not be in focus if it's in motion because th it's slower than 1 50th of a second. So that's a key thing that you can use in your special effects is use slow shutter. And that is something also, when you're shooting in manual, then you can pick the shutter angle and really slow it down and do some really cool things. Um, I don't suggest speeding it up because it doesn't look natural, um, but I do suggest that if you want to give it a bleary look as your subjects move, then put it on uh, slow shutter, anything slower than 1 50th of a second, shot at 24 frames per second.